Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I do want to talk about the potential release of the summer update happening tomorrow or the lack thereof. Now, I will later in the video actually give a lot more details about when I do believe that Red Dead Online Summer Update will actually be taking place. And I'm hoping that it's truly accurate, but it seems to be slightly leaked if we actually read some of Rockstar's notes. So anyway, I want to kind of go over last week update and just kind of go over just a few little things that I'm super excited about. Number one, I'm very excited the way that some of the daily challenges have been going, but I do wish that hopefully in the summer update that they'll kind of split them up for people that truly want to do like PVP and you'll get kind of an option to pick which ones you want. Um, and I get that they're trying to give more of a diverse player background and I get that the reward is awesome, but hopefully that, you know, for the people that truly don't want to play any type of PVP, they will get rid of those aspects. And the people that truly love to play the PVP aspects, well, they'll get rid of maybe selling animals to the butcher and things like that. That way you don't really have to do the things that you don't really want to do. Now, I do know that they have seven brand new daily challenges every single day. And we can pick and choose one. As long as you do one of them, you can still continue your streak. But I'm saying for the people that really want to go above and beyond just doing one daily challenge and don't really want to do one or the other as far as PvP. Like today, there wasn't a ton of stuff for PvP players, but there was a lot of other stuff that was available for players that like to go hunting, maybe pick some herbs, things like that. So I'm hoping that that's one of the things that they do update for the summer update when it's finally released. Now, obviously this last week, Going into for the next couple weeks, we're going to be getting the additional 30% uh, Red Dead Online money and XP for any of the Land of Opportunity missions. Now, you can already have completed them, not have completed them, but you're going to get an additional 30% on both of those. So if you guys are trying to level up, that's a great additional be benefit and a little extra money, though it's really not that great. Though these missions really don't take that long, especially the ones at the beginning of the Land of Opportunity mission. So there's that. Um, there's also, we have a couple hats that are back. We basically got a jacket, a coat, pants, and hat that are actually back in the shop. And I've kind of taken a look at some of them and they look, they look all right. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, the coat specifically is for the lady. So if you are a girl or female character, then you're going to be able to purchase those, but the pants and whatnot are available for everybody to purchase. The coat is only for ladies. There is a jacket that's also for guys. So just kind of keep that in mind for people that, you know, might be playing as a guy character or as a female character. It doesn't really matter. Now, in addition, all vests are typically that require a rank 31 or above are temporarily made available to those at rank 30 uh, across uh, and above. While vests typically are ranked between like 11 and 29 are currently reduced to rank 10. So if you guys want to get your hands on a vest over the next couple weeks and get that type of item, then you're going to want to do it before the end of this before the end of this. Now it did specifically say that it's over the next couple weeks. So just bear this in mind that this is kind of what's going on. Now, obviously you get some discounts this week and these are the same discounts that applied last week. I really don't anticipate any type of update information tomorrow uh, from Rockstar. So, I mean, I could be completely wrong. Maybe they'll add some more discounts, but it did say specifically over the next two weeks. So, and it, with the discounts in mind, uh, whether you prefer to handle your business from a safe distance or up close and personal, shop at your local gunsmith and take 25% off the double action revolver, Springfield revolver. Local fences are also offering a 50% off the hatchet and cleaver for the next two weeks. So just kind of everything keeps saying for the next two weeks, for the next two weeks, for the next two weeks. So just kind of bear that in mind. And for the same period, all ability card upgrades will require 25% less 
than the regular rate. So if you guys are trying to upgrade your ability cards, right now might be the best time to actually go ahead and do that. And then obviously, if you are a Twitch Prime member, um, you can pick up a few items as long as you did it before August 2nd, which was even before the update even released for this because this is actually dated from the 6th. But uh, this week, you can also receive a 10% dis discount on top of that current 10% Third or 25% reductions of the double um, action revolver and Springfield revolver and the ability card. So you can actually get 30%, 35% off on all of those items, which that's a huge discount. So if you guys have Amazon Prime, then sign up for Twitch Prime because it's free and then get the loot. You may as well. So the only thing that I can honestly think of is that we might get some new Twitch Prime limited time benefits coming tomorrow because that's the only thing that actually doesn't specifically say over the next couple weeks. Now it does say that if you guys want more details on linking your Rockstar Games Social Club and Twitch Prime accounts, then stay tuned to the Newswire for more Red Dead Online news coming in the next weeks. All right, now I'm gonna kind of break down why I believe obviously we're not getting the summer update tomorrow and i know a lot of people are going to be really disappointed about that or today whenever you guys are actually watching this video is because everything in the newswire is saying over the next couple weeks over the next couple weeks over the next couple weeks everything is pretty much saying that so it's going to be at least a couple weeks out now that was actually from last week so this would be next week and possibly it could come out next week so that would actually make it uh the 20th now the reason I actually believe that Red Dead Sun Summer Update is actually going to be coming August 20th is because at the very beginning of their article, they make a couple drops for this. Now, as you contemplate your place on the frontier and the kind of life you plan to build for yourself when new opportunities arise later this summer take advantage of increased mission payouts weapon discounts in red dead online all the way through august 19th well august 19th would be a monday and then august 20th would be the tuesday and i honestly believe that we are going to be seeing a red dead online summer update happen the 20th and it's already telling us to contemplate the place where we want to be in the frontier and the type of life life that we plan on building for our character later this summer and i do believe that it's coming out august 20th on top of this somebody else actually pointed it to, out to me during a live stream that i actually was doing and i didn't even think about this but it's actually almost exactly a month from when the casino update actually came out so it would be about perfect timing for Red Dead Online Summer Update to actually take place. I didn't even think about that, so I'm gonna give them a shout out. I don't remember who it was that actually said that in my live chat, but if it was you, then go ahead and leave a comment and I will make sure that if it happens to be withheld for whatever reason that it gets put out there because you deserve all the credit for that specific announcement. Now, I am taking full credit for, I do agree with the person that said it was actually August uh, August 20th, but I'm actually just adding on to what they believed why it's coming out. I do believe that just because of the way that Rockstar wrote their last Newswire a week ago, that it's actually going to be dropping August 20th, and I believe that ever since it actually dropped. So, now, it's obviously a little bit later than I originally had thought, and I thought it was actually going to come out at the beginning of August, like the 6th or the 13th, but pushing it back a week or two isn't that big of a deal. And unfortunately for a lot of the people that are out there, there are kids that are going back to school when this update happens. So they're, they don't care necessarily that kids are going to be, yes, kids are buying the, the gold and whatnot. But if you've taken advantage of some of the glitches and other opportunities that have really been out there, then you probably don't need money or gold because you're getting 30% additional benefits, even if you are a complete legit player, which I have friends that I play with, and they've got $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, and it's all legit money that they have been basically been saving up for the summer update. So it should be no no problem, especially for the people that are huge into the PvP aspects and the huge payout increases that they've received. 
I mean, just go play a couple showdown modes and look at the payouts that you're actually getting for playing PvP. Now, I've never been a huge component player of PvP, and I know that a lot of the videos that got going on in the background, but if you look at my character, my character is actually very old in the videos that I'm showcasing. So, I mean, I've updated the jacket, the guns are updated, I've revamp them my jackets are changed so i will event i mean you watch the difference between my daily challenge videos and my my gameplay videos that i actually have when i just do more of a voiceover type narration of what i believe is going to be coming up there's a difference now i don't really go into the pvp very much anymore it's not a huge desire of mine and i probably won't ever really go into it but i mean look at my daily challenges i never go into that and i know that i'm getting a little off topic but this is the reason why i believe that rockstar should separate the daily challenges for people that are truly pvp players and the people that are um not pvp players and i actually can tell you the reason how you can actually determine this and it's all based on the mode that you choose offensive for PvP, that means that you're probably going to be a PvP player. And a defensive mode, for the people that truly like to be in defensive mode, are going to be that would give would be given the opportunity to do more of the hunting and herb picking, things like that. More of those types of contest items. Whereas the PvP players, I, it's an idea. I know that they might never do it. They probably never will do it because obviously they don't want to give, you know, two, three, four gold bars every single day for free if all you're doing is exactly what you want to be doing on the game anyway. So they will obviously want to give you that challenge to do both of it. It's just an idea that I had, whether it's ever implemented or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just an idea. And that's what we love to do on this channel. We love to be able to give IR ideas and whatnot. So if you guys have an idea for a summer update that hasn't already been talked about yet, then let us know. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear it. But this is all the time that I have for in today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I hope that you guys are as excited as I am to see Red Dead Online Summer Update take place and actually come to us. I am super stoked for it. And I can't wait to see what is in store for us as players. So excited, you guys. You have no idea. If you guys want to play with me on Xbox when it is dropped, then make sure that you guys add me, GamerCoreyYT, and I'll do my best. And you might even see me plan a little bit once it actually comes out uh for the most part i've been doing the video challenges and a few other minor things here and there but that's really all i've been doing on reddit online i'm definitely waiting and anticipating the summer update so hopefully it is as good as i hope it is so let's hope that it's not any type of a letdown that's that's all i'm gonna say but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming I'm not going to do that.